It was two and a half years ago that we called a news conference to announce the creation of the College Hill Corridor Commission, which, as you all know, was the uh, offspring of a class project in Peter Brown's uh, senior capstone course. It was a great concept that students came up with of creating a corridor between Mercer and downtown that would create a vibrant, engaged uh, college town feel. Uh, something that would help us attract bright and energetic and entrepreneurial and creative young people into our community and then keep them here uh, long term. We've made a great deal of progress in the two and a half years since the College Hill Corridor Commission was announced uh, and one of our key partners throughout this process has been the Knight Foundation and its local representative, Beverly Blake, who's with us today. The Knight Foundation funded the first $250,000 planning grant that led to a master plan for the College Hill Corridor. And then this past spring uh, provided $5 million in additional funding for this project. Uh, the goal was to take this $5 million as seed money and use it to begin attracting public and private investment into the corridor. And I'm pleased to be here today to announce uh, the first big victory in attracting, uh, in attracting private investment into the corridor. Uh, today, Mercer is pleased to announce a $10 million mixed-use residential retail development that will be coming to the uh, area across the street from Mercer Village. The ground floor will be retail space, half of which will be occupied by the University Bookstore. The other half will be occupied by additional retail tenants that will be recruited into the uh, area. The top three floors will be additional uh, student housing space, 114 additional student housing spaces. Uh, this will be a great impetus uh, to further development in the corridor. Mercer is really pleased to be a part of this. Uh, the investment will be private investment. Mercer will be providing a ground lease uh, for the space to the private investors. And uh, I think this is really a great victory and it's a great testament uh, to the College Hill Corridor's master plan because I think it was that master plan that attracted this private investment into the corridor. At this time, I'd like to announce the head of the uh, group that is doing the development, Jim Dawes from Sierra Development, who will tell you about their plans for the uh, current parking lot across the street from Mercer Village. Jim? Uh, thank you, President Underwood. When David Thompson brought the College Hill Corridor Commission Master Plan to our attention uh, in January of last year. And as we began to understand the vision of President Underwood, the city, and the commission, we became determined to become a part of this exciting project. We were convinced that this would be not only great for Mercer University, but also the community and the city of Macon. Over the last few months, we have been working very closely with President Underwood and his staff on the scope and the design of this project. <clears throat> I would now like to introduce the members of our development team. If I can find them, John Wright, Jay Cochran, who work with me at Sierra Development, of course, Scott and David Thompson with Piedmont Construction Group, who will be the general contractor, and last but certainly not least, the project architects, Gary Corsi and Ryan Lee, with Gary Corsi Architects out of Atlanta. They have done an awesome job of designing this project. We are very proud that this project will be a part of the vision of the College Hill Corridor Commission. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Uh, it's great to find a development group that actually has access to capital today. <laughs> Central to our success on the College Hill Corridor project is going to be attracting this kind of private investment into the corridor. Uh, but I think it's also essential that we have strong public partnerships in this endeavor. And we're fortunate 
uh, that we do have very strong public partnerships with the city and with the county and with uh, the federal government. And I'd like to uh, invite now, uh, first, our mayor, Robert Rickard, uh, to make some remarks on behalf of the city. Robert, thank you for your support. I am absolutely delighted to be here and participate in this press conference. Uh, this is a, a, an awesome project that will contribute mightily uh, to the success uh, of this area. Uh, so what do you say uh, to an amenity uh, for the university, which is also an amenity to the neighborhood, which is also an amenity to the community at large? Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Robert's been a great supporter of the College Hill Corridor project, and we certainly can't succeed without the city being actively engaged and supportive of what we're doing, and we're grateful to you, Robert. We've also got a great partner in Bibb County, and the chair of the uh, county commission, uh, Sam Hart, is here to make a few remarks. Sam, thank you for being here. Afternoon, and thank you. Uh, President Underwood for inviting the commission to uh, be a part of this. Uh, this is really an exciting announcement for, for our community. And it's really good when you, and exciting when you see things happen like you hope they would. A couple of years back, the county made some assistance with improving the roads. Next, we had a grant from the Knight Foundation. Next, we had a private investment of over $10 million where with uh, Sierra and, and uh, Piedmont working together. If we were to realize the potential of our community, it will take these kind of partnerships in order to realize that potential. So let me just say from the commissioners, thanks, Mercer, for being a great community partner. I mean, and we hope again that we can continue to provide whatever assets we can and assistance we can from the county to help you, and thank you for thanking the community. We are likewise blessed to have a congressman who is firmly committed to this project and supportive of this project and working diligently to bring uh, public investment, infrastructure investment into the project, and I'd like to invite now Jim Marshall to come and make a few remarks. Thank you, Jim, for being here. Well, I'm, I'm very pleased to be here, but that's in part because I'm not in Washington. Uh, and, and another thing that really pleases me, I mean, Bill alluded to it, it's nice to find a developer with access to capital. Talking with Jim Dawes uh, before the presentation was made, I, I wanted to know where financing was coming from because I get all these letters pretty regularly, people struggling to find financing. There are two competing financers in this instance. So there, there is money out there for good projects like this. And everybody here already knows that this is great for the city, it's great for, for uh, Mercer, uh, and it's great for this local community. Uh, everybody knows that uh, long term, the health of Macon is essential to the health of Mercer University. And everybody also knows that Mercer University can have an awful lot to do with the future health of Macon. And it certainly has in the last decade, two decades, contributed an awful lot to this community. Uh, in ways that help the university as well. So I'm proud of everybody who's here in this room, just about everybody who's here has an interest in this project of one sort or another, but more importantly, an interest in the future of Macon, the future of Mercer University. God bless you all. Thank you all for being here for what is truly just the next step in what we anticipate will be a whole series of announcements relating to the College Hill Corridor in the years ahead. Thank you for being here, and I know these folks will be available to answer media questions after the news conference. Thank you all. Here, here.